This is objective four of the polynomial functions power focus area, and it's all about working between different polynomial representations. So here's our first example where I'm giving you a graph of a polynomial, and you have to pick which um, equation matches the graph. So I'm going to start with looking at what are my x-intercepts, which my x-intercepts are negative 4 and negative 2. But remember, when you write it as an equation, you're going to put it in parentheses and change the sign. So that negative 4 is going to be a positive 4 in parentheses, and the negative 2 is going to be a positive 2. So my answer is they actually all have x plus 2, x plus 4. So next, we have to figure out what are my exponents going to be to match this graph. Well, this graph's behavior is first going in opposite directions. So I know that my exponent has to be odd because opposite directions is odd. And also it starts low and ends high. So back at my table from our last um, objective, when it starts low and ends high, it has to be positive, the leading coefficient. So which of these answers has an odd um, degree and positive. Well, they're all positive out front, so that's good. That checks out. But let's check my degree. So 2 plus 2 would be 4. That degree is even. And if you don't see a number up high, you always assume it's 1. So I have 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. That's also an even number. But this last one, I have 1 and 2. That equals 3. So 3 is an odd number. So that means this is the equation that's going to match this graph. Um, next, you're going to be given a graph that actually doesn't have any of your numbers as the roots, um, but we're still going to look at the end behavior and see what matches. So again, this is going in opposite directions. So remember, opposite equals an odd degree. And this one starts high and ends low. So from my table, when it starts high and ends low, there has to be a negative out front. So I'm looking for odd and negative. So let's look at my answers. Well, I actually see that only one of these has a negative out front. And if you add up the exponents, it's going to be a 1, a 1, and a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3. And that's odd. So that actually matches my description of opposite and odd. So this is going to be the equation that matches my function.